Today, we're going to be discussing rates, ratios, and tables. Before we talk about ratios and tables, let's talk about our first vocab word. We have to figure out what a ratio is. So let's go ahead and fill in our definition. The definition for ratio is a comparison of two numbers or quantities. You can write ratios in different ways. The first way is you're going to write three with a semicolon four. Or you can write it three and the letter two, four. Or you can write it as a fraction, three over four. So let's talk about the ratio of triangles to circles. So how many triangles do we have? One, two, three. So this is going to be three, two, one circle. What is the ratio of triangles to squares? Well, I have one, two, three, three triangles out of comparing it to four squares. And again, you can write your ratio like this, like this, or like this. Either way, it is correct. Okay, equivalent ratios have the same value, meaning they are equal. So deter to determine if two equivalent ratios, to determine if two ratios are equivalent, you are going to write them as fractions. If the fractions are equal, the ratios are equal. Okay, so an example. If I gave you the ratio 1 to 2, I'm going to write it as a fraction like this. If I gave you the ratio 4 to 8, I would write it like this. Now, how can I tell if 1 half and 4 eighths are equal? Well, I'm going to make both fractions with a common denominator. So the common denominator here is eight. So I'm gonna make them both equal to an eight. Well, to go from one half to an eight, I have to multiply denominator and numerator by four. So it's gonna be four eighths. And going from four eighths to four eighths is, stays the same. So yes, they are equivalent. So let's move on. Let's talk about ratio tables. Remember, we just discussed that equivalent, fra equivalent fractions represent equivalent ratios. So when you are completing a ratio table, you have to increase each side of the table by the same number. Okay, so let's take a look at this side. Are you seeing a pattern here? It goes from 6, 12, 18. Well, it looks like I am increasing by a six, right? So from here to here, it's a plus six. From here to here, it's a plus six. So what would be next if I continued with plus six? Well, this would be 24, and this would be 30. What about this side? 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Looks like I am increasing by a plus 10. So if I continue all the way down with a plus 10, what would I do to complete this chart? This would be 40 and this would be 50. So when we are working with tape ratio tables and graphs, you can use a table and graph to display our values. I want you to 
write the pair, write the pair of values in the table. as coordinates. Okay, so this means like x comma y. And then I want you to plot the points. Remember, the x value tells you to move right. And the Y value tells you to move up. This is very important. Your points should form a straight line, which is why I, I gave you a little star here. So if this is your table that you're given, these are your X values, these are your Y, y values, Let's write them as coordinate pairs. So here it's going to be 1 comma 5. Here it's going to be 2 comma 10. Here it's going to be 3 comma 15. And here it's going to be 4 comma 20. And then our last thing we're going to do is we're going to plot these points. So our first point is 1 comma 5. So I'm going to go here's my 1 and there is my 5 as best as I can do this. Next, I have 2 comma 10, so here is 2 comma 10. Then I have 3 comma 15, and then 4 comma 20. And as you can see, it forms a nice straight line.